What a good show. Yeah, I love that show. You know what pisses me off though? Is I don't know why everybody hates on this core so much. What? They're really good. Why does everybody boo them? Are you being serious right now? Like, how rude is that, you know? No, they're saying blue. 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 Wait, are you, are you serious right now? All this time you didn't know that? Why didn't you ever tell me that? What? Are you kidding me? Do you know what I did? Wait. What? That show I went to, there was a guy behind me and he was booing really loudly, or at least I thought he was, and I got so pissed off. And what did you do? I had seen where he parked his car, so I... What did you do? I called my uncle. Hey Tender Drummers, welcome to the latest installment of my Learn This Lick series. In this video, we're going to take a look at the 2014 Blue Coats Tenor feature. I want to thank Miles Drums for recommending this one because it is a very cool lick. At 210 beats per minute, it's ridiculously fast, but even at slower tempos, this one can be deceivingly tricky. It is probably one of the most subtle speed changes I've ever seen, going from 4 over 3 to triplets with the triplets just being the tiniest bit faster. So you're really gonna wanna have your interb dialed in for this one. If you haven't already seen the prep video I did for this, make sure you go through that lesson first. I basically break down some of the harder passages into check patterns, so you can make sure you get those locked in before you try the part as written. Real quick, I wanna give a big shout out and thank you to some of my new subscribers, JB Ross, Daniel Merwin, Quadplaya06, and your boy Malik Coleman. Thanks a lot guys, welcome to the channel. And for all of you out there, if you haven't already, please give this video a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications as well. It really helps me grow the channel. All right, tenor drummers, let's take a look at this lick. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at this lick. You can find a link to the music in the description of the video, and obviously grab your sticks, grab your pad, grab your metronome, and play along with me. So, let's take a look. We're gonna start on measure 28. So it starts off pretty easy with some 16th notes, a little flam drag, and a couple more flams to finish out the measure. So basically it's one E and a two and three and four and one. So nice and easy. Let's go ahead and play that with the metronome. One. And here we go. Easy as that. All right, so the around pattern for this one, the 16th notes start on drum one, left on drum two, we cross over to drum two with the right, and the left comes over to drum one, and the right hand follows it. So one E and a two. Then our flam drag, we're basically the and of two, we're gonna go down to drum three with the left, so cross, and our right hand shifts over to drum two. Two and, three and, and then our right hand's gonna go up from drum four to drum two, and then one, for four and one. One and a two and three and four and one. Let's play that with the metronome. One, two, and here we go. And here we go. If 110 beats per minute is a little too fast for you, it's totally fine. Feel free to bring it down to whatever tempo you're comfortable with. All right, the next measure, measure 29. This is where things get a little interesting. And if you haven't already gone through the prep video that I did for this, please go ahead and look at that now. Cause that's basically the check pattern for this measure and uh, a couple other parts that are a little bit trickier, all right? So we have, just on one drum, we have one and two and three and. So this four over three starts on the and of count three. It's gonna go from the and of count three through four, four and, and then release on count five. And this is a para diddle diddle diddle. So the check pattern for this, if you were to take out the diddles and that little 32nd note, um, or I guess it's the 16th note, it would be right, right, left, right and then release on the left all right so one and two and 
all right? But we're gonna go ahead and put the paradiddle diddle diddle in and give that a shot. So it's one and two and three and four and or five. All right, so of course, that four over three, you want all the notes to be perfectly evenly spaced. You don't want any closer together than others. Everything's nice and smooth. So let's try that with the metronome. One, two, and here we go. And one, and two, and three, and four. Two, and ready, go. And one, and two, and three, and four. See how that left release? Finish right with the metronome on that count five, all right? So from there, we have another four over three pattern. This one's starting on the and of five and then going to the downbeat of count seven. We're in seven four here. So uh, the and of count five, release on count seven. And this one is all alternating. So the, it's all just right, left, right, left with drags on all of those, okay? Um, so let's just go ahead and give it a shot. This, the count seven, we're gonna do seven and one. So it's a double left at the very end the next measure starts on the left. Okay, so seven and one. All right, let's try that whole measure just on one drum. One, two, and here we go. And one, and two, and one, two, and here we go. And one, and two. All right, so, uh, if you're having trouble with that, again, refer back to the prep video for this, okay? So now let's take a look at the voicing. We start on drum one with the flam, or right flam, and then we go up to the shot drums, two and, and then the four over three pattern is para diddle 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 release. So we have that little left cross on drum one, so right hand on drum one, then a left cross, then we have two diddles on drum two, then down to drum three, and the release on drum three. And the second four over three pattern just goes up the drums, and then the double left is and one. So, all right, so we have one and two and three. So let's try that with the metronome. One, two, and here we go, and one. Two and one, two, and here we go. All right, so now measure 30, we again start on the left because we had that double left, and we're gonna do one, E, and, uh, and then another group of four with a right release, and then another right for the downbeat of the next measure. So this one is a tiny bit trickier because it starts, the four over three starts on a downbeat rather than the and like we were doing. So this one releases on the and of three and one, and then you have another downbeat with the right. All right, so make sure this is why we have the eighth notes clicking on our metronome so we can listen for that right release, that shot on the low shot drum. Uh, make sure it lines up right with that one. So let's try that measure with the metronome. One, two, and here we go. One, two, and here we go. Left. All right. So for the voicing here, we start on drum two. One, E, and, uh, so right hand on drum three. Left comes over to drum one. And then our four over three, Starts on drum one, drum two, then we have a right sweep from two to one, and then a left drag on the low shot drum, and then our right shot on the low shot drum, and then the downbeat of the next measure is also on that low shot. So one and a... Okay, for some reason this measure kind of trips me up, especially when you get going a little faster. I don't know why, I think that, that sweep it's kind of a little awkward for me, but hopefully it's not too bad for you. Let's try it with the metronome. One, two, and here we go. One, two, and here we go. All right. So now that we got those first three measures down, let's run them all together and just kind of make sure we have that chunk down before we move on. Here we go, first three measures. One, and two, and one. And here we go.
So now let's take a look at measure 31. This one is a little tricky because we have that triplet roll in there, which is just a hair faster than the four over three we were playing. And to make it even worse, it starts on the and. So that's also why I put on the eighth notes on the metronome, just so we have that clear starting point of when the triplet roll starts. And then it ends on the and of two, which again is kind of weird. So just like we did in the 2000 Cavaliers tenor feature, maybe you want to think of the eighth note clicks of the metronome as quarter notes. So that might help you. Then the triplet roll would start on count two and go to count three. So I don't know, maybe that'll help you out. If not, don't worry about it. Let's just figure it out. So we have that triplet roll starting on the and of one, going to and of two, and then three and a four e and a. So we just finished with a little paradiddle, diddle. So let's try that with the metronome. One, two, and here we go. Two, and here we go. All right, taking a look at the around pattern, we start on the low shot drum, and then our triplet roll goes from drum four to drum two, and then releases on drum one. Count three starts on the drum two, and then we have and a four e and a. So we have some inward sweeps there to finish out that measure. Now, of course, with the inward sweeps, especially you want to make sure you're approaching with a downward motion. If you come down at a slice at an angle, you're going to probably hit a rim. So make sure you're coming down nice and straight down. That'll get you some good sound quality and avoid hitting those rims. All right. So we have one and a three and and we release with a right cross on drum two, okay? And our left hand kind of keeps flowing down to drum three after that sweep. All right, so let's go ahead and try that around with the metronome. One, two, and here we go. Two, and ready, go. All right, we're almost done. And actually the rest of the lick isn't too bad. So. We have basically some eighth notes and then another paradiddle diddle in measure 32. And we'll just jump to the voicing. We start crossed and then we have two lefts and two going from drum three to drum one. And while your left hand's doing that, we're gonna do a little spin with our right hand and bring it down to drum three. I'm not sure what you kids are calling this these days, but it's just a little one of those guys. So nothing too crazy. So one and two, and then we have a paradiddle diddle para so you have that left cross for that second note of it from drum three and then a little sweep with the right from drum two to one left hand comes up to the low shot and then we release with the right on the high shot right para diddle diddle so one and two and a three e and a one All right let's try it with the metronome one two and here we go one two and here we go All right, last measure. We just got some singles going from the shot drums down and we have a nice big double stop release. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. We have one E and a on the shot drums. Then we go to drum one with the right, two E, drum two over with the left. And we bring our right over to drum two and a uh, left is down on drum three. Right hand plays count four E and a. Uh, five or four sorry on drum four so one e and a two e and a three e and a four and one and all right so that double stop is on the and of one of the next measure okay all right so let's go ahead and try that last measure with the metronome one two and here we go Here we go. All right, and make sure you're doing a nice crescendo with those 16 notes, start low, come up nice and big, and then a nice huge double stop to finish it out. So now that we've gone through all the measures, let's go ahead and just put a couple chunks together. Let's start with those last two measures, measure 32 and 33, and of course with the release. One, two, and here we go. And here we go. All 
All right, now let's start at 31 to the end. One, two, and here we go. And here we go. All right, so now really the only section that we didn't work is going from measure 30 to 31, and that's where we have that small change. So let's go ahead and start on 30 and run that through the end, okay? Just that slight speed change from the four over three to the triplets. Here we go. Go on. Two, and ready, go. One, two, and ready, go. All right, so that's it. We're ready to do some reps now. So we're gonna do the entire thing starting at 110 beats per minute and then I'll go up in 10 beat per minute in increments, intervals, increments, eh, either way. 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, and then 200, I tried to get it at 210, but I could not. It was getting way too sloppy, so maybe uh, you'll have better luck than me. All right, great job sticking with the lesson. Stick around for those reps, and I'll see you in the next video. 110 beats per minute, here we go. One, two, and ready, go. Twenty beats per minute. Here we go. One, two, and ready, go. Hundred and thirty beats per minute. One, two, and. 140 beats per minute. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. 150 beats per minute. Here we go. One, two, and. 160 beats per minute. One, two, and. 170 beats per minute. One, two, and. 180 beats per minute. One, two. 190 beats per minute. One, two. 
Ain't happening. 200's just fine.